Bob said, okay, I asked this last time, but it didn't get answered. Dog, have you ever seen a UFO? So, uh, here we no, go. No, no. Okay. Have not. Want to so bad. Oh, okay. Also, really want to see a Bigfoot. Like, oh. in, I just want to see it run across the road in front of me. And then I'll just poop my pants and continue driving. Uh, UFO, man, I would love to see one. I lived in Gulf Breeze, uh, Florida. And there was, for a while, Gulf Breeze was like sighting capital of the world or something for UFOs. And so, really? uh, yeah, but I never found it. A couple of them were found out to be hoaxes, but I don't know. Did you really? I want to, I want to, me and the Osbournes want to believe. You know what I mean? Did you, this is one of my favorite conspiracy theories I've ever heard. Did you know why so many Southerners get abducted by aliens is because the government, you know, the government's already talking to the aliens. They have a pact, but they want to do experiments and we can't, they can't just hand us over. Yeah. So they figured out what their favorite food is and it's spam. Oh. And so they sell it to low income poverty, uh, low income whites here in the South. Yeah. And that's, so the aliens get that taste of spam. That's oh. why they always abduct us. Okay. We taste did like they, spam. Sometimes do they eat us or do they learn from us and send us back? Like some, well, they've, they've been known to uh, visit the backyard. If you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Well, no, that's please. So they're come on down guys. That's what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Getting the, <laughs> they're getting the spam. <laughs> well, I don't yeah. keep mine there. Um, but if they want to, we could get in the cupboard. What's up in there? We could get in the cupboard if that's where they're, where they, they're hunting. They like I can, it digested. I, I, I can you. fry some of them, cut it up in chunks, and put it in some mac and cheese if they want to get their heads blown. Really? Yeah. Okay. That was aggressive. Our producer, Dom Dominic, said... <laughs> Telling us he got his starfish inspected by a Martian once. I think what he means is by Martin, a guy named Martin. <laughs> once. <laughs> no, you're right, Martian. I shouldn't make fun of his misspelling. Yep. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was another typo. Thank you. He should have. We it's know. Martin, Martin Sheen. Martin. He's talking about <laughs> Martin Sheen. On a movie set well, one time. Look, everyone knows Glenn Close was a lumberjack. <laughs> Martin Sheen's an alien. So everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. If we're going to start with aliens, it's Martin. All right. Sheen. What's, what's, what's the, the next one? Fantasy Booker podcast. Any funny stories? Of oh, Cameron but, but, Grimes or Shotzi? But both. But, but both. I don't. I don't have really funny stories. But like uh, Cameron Grimes, man. Cameron Grimes was one of the funniest things, and uh, just to be able to work on that character and work closely with him. What a what a uh, wrestler's wrestler he is. Uh, he is the Brad Armstrong of the new generation. Like Brad probably could keep up with these guys, but like uh, Trevor really is that good in the ring. Um, so yeah, he's a spe he's a special talent. Shotzi, uh, every encounter with Shotzi is a fun one. Like I don't have any really funny memories, but she's always fun to be around. And I got to shoot a lot of stuff with her and produce the, you know, the TV shows when she was the hosting the Halloween Havocs and stuff. So she's always a blast to be around. And, and, uh, I, what I love about her the most is her real life story, uh, of who she really is. And, and if you're interested, I'm sure you can find that info somewhere. I won't get into it here, but very, very strong human being. And, uh, comes from a difficult place and, and now she's on top of the world chasing a dream, you know, so kudos.